back to my channel it is your girl katrina if you are new here thank you so much for tuning back into my videos so this video i'm going to be recreating a look that i recently did i went out with my friends and i did this really really simple but cute eyeshadow look and I did not record myself doing it and I told myself I should have but I didn't so I'm going to be recreating that look and I'm also going to be using some new products that I recently purchased so if you want to see the look that I come up with then go ahead and keep on watching but before you do that go ahead and click the subscribe button hit the like button and hit the bell button so you know when I upload my like weekly videos but without further ado let's get started Alright guys, so let's just go ahead and jump into this. Like when I say this is a really, really simple look, it's really simple. It's like a three eyeshadow look and it's really simple. So I recently purchased, I gave in to the hype and just the aesthetic of this company and I went and purchased the KKW Beauty palette, the one that recently came out. This is what it looks like guys and I just could not help myself and I just had to get it I don't know like I just gave in and I was just like I'm just gonna try it out and see if her products are good so here I am trying it out <laughs> well I'm gonna do a couple swatches for you guys really quick I just feel like I just have to I feel like all of my videos are kind of like mini reviews just because I just like to be informative because I know you guys like to go out and purchase some of these items so I just want you to know that you're like you're getting some information on it <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna swatch a couple of them you guys know how I feel like I wish the names were on the front of it but they're not so it's gonna be kind of hard to tell you guys what I'm using I'm gonna swatch a couple of the matte shades I think I'm just gonna swatch like this little row right here okay Kim I mean they swatched pretty well I'm not gonna I can lie pretty surprised because sometimes things don't always swatch the greatest so yeah let's just go ahead and jump into this look so you guys know that I like to use concealers as primers for my eyeshadows so I'm going to be using the born this way concealer by Too Faced in the color dark yeah, but I did this look and low key it was giving me like Kim K vibes. Um, I'll insert a couple pictures, but it was definitely giving me Kim K vibes. So I was just like, let's just use this palette. Let's just go for it. So uh, like I told you guys, this is a really, really simple look. It is really, really simple. So this is perfect for those like you want to go out or not even like this could just be like one of those natural looks that it's not too glitz and glam it's just really simple so the first color we are going to take is that one that i swatched which was this kind of like i don't know i want to say it's kind of like a mauvey color but it's kind of got some a red tone but then like an orange tone so we are going to take this color and i'm going to be using a morphe m573 brush That's pretty, that's pretty nice, Kim. That's pretty nice, Kimberly. So the next color I'm gonna go into, of course, is this dark shade right here. And I'm gonna be using a Morphe M506 brush. And we are going to really like intensify this. And we're not gonna bring it out. We're kind of just going to round it around the crease area. That brown shade does have a little bit of fallout but a lot of dark colors usually do, so. The texture of these shadows are really like, it's a really fine shadow, almost where you feel like as soon as you put it on your eye, like it wouldn't do anything or show up, but they are actually really good. Like, I'm actually really liking this. 
So next this is like the last step for this eyeshadow look other than the bottom lash line. We are going to go into, uh, let's do, we're going to go into this color up here and we're just going to place this on the lid. We're not going to do a cut crease or like nothing difficult. You're just going to place it and that's all. all right, and I'm going to be using a Sigma Firm Shader Brush. This is a E57. So it's just a little like flat tipped brush. I am going to switch to a like clean brush with nothing on it and I just kind of want to blend this part just a little bit more just so it doesn't look too harsh and this is pretty much it for like the eyeshadow look I will work on the bottom of the lash line later after I apply like my lashes and stuff before my mascara so I'm gonna go ahead and do some liner um, I wasn't gonna add liner when I initially did the look but I was like let me just add some liner like a real like nice liner so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna be using the bomb cosmetics swing liner and I like this liner because how thin the tip is and it just makes it so easy to just get like a nice straight So before I go ahead and add mascara, I'm going to work on the bottom lash line and I'm going to be mixing these two colors right here and taking that on my bottom lash line. And to do that, I'm going to be using a Morphe E18 brush. And I'm going to start off with that kind of like mauve or like dusty mauve color. And then for mascara, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. You see how simple and really cute this look is and it's not too much with it? Okay. So now we are going to move on to the face and I'm going to be applying highlighter. Today I'm going to be using the Diamond Glow Powders by Artist Couture and I'm going to be using Sugar Daddy. I want to show you guys what it looks like if you have not seen them before. These are really good highlighters but that is what it looks like. But before I do that, I'm going to be using my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I'm just spray my face really quick. So I'm also going to spray my brush too. So we are going to spray our brush. I'm going to be using a Morphe MR36 brush. Um, it's perfect for highlighting. And so what I like to do is sometimes the like it'll get on the inside of this so I just use what's inside of here because you don't need a lot of this because it is really intense so we are going to just use the kind of like fallout see and it kind of just comes off on the back So for lips today, I'm going to be using two items. I'm going to be using a lip liner and then a lip gloss by NYX Cosmetics. This is the lingerie lip liner and this is in the color French Mate. So that is pretty much it for the look that I did. This is what I did the other night and I thought it was really cute and really simple and really easy to do. Just a like three step eyeshadow look with some liner, lashes, like a soft lip and then you are done. This literally could be used for like anything. It's not even like a like glammed up type of look. You could literally take away the liner or you know do your own spin on it. So I just wanted to do it because I thought it was cute and easy. 
so yes that is all for this tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed it um let me know if there are any other looks that you guys want to see i love when you guys give me like recommendations and things that you want to see because it just helps me create content that you guys enjoy so that is all and i love you guys i will see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe and all right bye